When calculating an interval estimate for a population mean from a sample, we use the formula x bar minus z alpha over 2 times the population standard deviation over the square root of n less than mu less than x bar plus z alpha over 2 times the population standard deviation over the square root of n. In this formula, x bar is the mean from a random sample. z alpha over 2 is a z score based on the confidence interval we're using. This is usually 90%, 95%, or 99%. And I have the Z values listed for those percentages. Sigma is the population standard deviation, and N is the size of the sample the mean was calculated from. And this Z alpha over two times sigma over square root of N is also called the margin of error, which we will call big E. And to use this formula, we must have a random sample, the sample size must be greater than or equal to 30, or if the sample size is less than 30, the population must be normally distributed, and we must also know the value of the population standard deviation. The sample size plays an important part in the margin of error. For instance, in a past video, we did an example of how much time a person spends on social media in a day in minutes. The mean is 144, sample size is 35, and we're going to assume the population standard deviation is 61. On the screen are the calculated out confidence intervals for the population mean using 90%, 95% and 99% confidence intervals. So for the 90% confidence interval, the margin of error is 16.96, which is the distance from an endpoint of the interval to the center or mean. But what if we wanted the margin of error to be within a certain number? What we can do is set this margin of error formula equal to n. Doing the calculations, we get n equals the quantity z alpha over two times sigma, the population standard deviation, divided by e, the margin of error, squared. And what we're doing with this formula is finding the minimum sample size needed for an interval estimate for the population mean. So let's work through this problem using 10 as the margin of error at 90%. We have n equals quantity 1.645, which is the z-score for a 90% confidence interval, times 61, the population standard deviation, divided by 10, our margin of error, squared. Calculating out, we get 100.69. And when we get a decimal or fraction in this formula, we want to round up. So our final answer is 101. So we would say to be 90% confident that the estimate is within 10 minutes of the true population mean, we need to have a minimum sample size of 101 people. Let's look at the same example, but using 9 as the margin of error, again with 90% confidence level. Plugging and calculating, we get 124.31 rounding off to 125. And once more, the same example, but this time using five as the margin of error, again with 90% confidence level. Plugging and calculating, we get 402.76, rounding off to 403. One last one, same example. Using five as the margin of error, but increase the confidence level to 99%, which has a Z-score of 2.575. Plugging and calculating, we get 986.9, .9, rounding off to 987. As you can see, by narrowing or decreasing the margin of error, or by increasing the confidence level, n, or the sample size required, jumps up dramatically. And my friends, this is one of the reasons sample size is so important in statistics. And that, will that be the basics on minimum sample size for an interval estimate? Hopefully this video helped you out. I do have more videos right there for you. Till next time. Ah! And out of here.